is Mary Oriano and welcome to Mario's Kitchen. I know it says Mary's Kitchen, but Mary is in English or American and Mario is in Italian. All right, this is two and a half pounds of chopped meat. I get it from the box store. In this chopped meat is veal, pork, and beef. It's a wonderful blend to have to make me poor. I hope you will try it. This little container now becomes my garbage pail. If you got that. Now what goes into this? In here goes three eggs. Oh brother, I need a fork. In here three eggs. When I open the eggs, I don't put them on here. This is a good way to get uh, shells in your, in your food. What I do is I hit it on the table, a good smack, open it up, and throw it in. And if you get a shelling, well, I don't want to do that, but if you get a shelling, what you can do is with this shell, you can scoop that shell out. You ever try and get a shell out and you're, and you're chasing it all over your pan? And that's what I do. Now I'm going to chicky chop the eggs I told you last time. This is what my mother taught my children. To chicky chop the eggs. I know you don't need my instruction for that. All right, we'll chicky chop the eggs. Now here comes the ingredients. Now I'm going to start you off with the cheese. I already measured this cheese. This cheese is almost a full cup. It's more than three quarters. Don't you love this sound on the video? I'm now a drummer. This is the uh, breadcrumb. I want a full, full cup of uh, breadcrumb. Not too much breadcrumb because at the end you're making bread balls. We don't want to do that. We want to be perfect on it. Now I pour the milk over the breadcrumbs because I want them to get wet. Somewhat wet. This is the pasta. Now that today I use them fresh. Very often I use uh, dry. When you drink dry, do, you know, put two tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons. But you can see the amount on here, it's about two, three tablespoons of fresh. This is much stronger. I know they teach you that the dry one is stronger, use less. It might apply to most things, but I don't think it applies to parsley. Parsley is just a great flavor in here. Now here we got the onions. I'm not supposed to show you the, the company on here. But I'm sure you can guess which one it is. Almost a tablespoon. That's a tablespoon. Then I got the garlic. I don't use fresh garlic. If you use fresh garlic, remember to chop it up very, very well. I use dry garlic. One tablespoon. I didn't measure these out because I wanted you to know the measurements. And the monocotes, I already had measured out. But this time I wasn't going to do it. This is black pepper, and I use one teaspoon. I know I make a lot of noise. I use a level teaspoon. Remember the rule is this. You could always use more. Now here comes the ingredient that I want to tell you about. I use soy sauce in my... In my uh, meatballs. You could use it from the bottle. I get these from the Chinese restaurants. These are one tablespoon each. So it's two tablespoons of soy sauce. Alright, so don't think over the um, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Soy sauce is actually less salty than regular sauce. If I put two tablespoons salt in here you might be able to. So I mix it all together. You don't need to see it. You mix it good. You turn it, you turn it, you mix it good. And then I use uh, an ice cream scoop. I spray it just one time. You don't spray it for every meatball. And then you start to make the meatballs. I like all the meatballs to be uniform because I put mine in the broiler. I don't fry them. Lord knows there's enough fat on this thing. We don't need that because we have the pork in there. I'll show you just the first five and we'll stop the camera. You don't need to see me make 24 meatballs. Did I say this makes 24? Wait, one, two, three.
for I gotta put the fifth one on here. Slide it up against the side of the bow. And this is what I do. I do all 24 like this. And then I put the water nice and cold. So remember the water's gotta be cold because fat and water they don't mix. You ever noticed it? Oil and vinegar don't mix. Then you you can uh, put an egg yolk, egg uh, white in there, and it'll help it mix. All right. So then I roll them. After all 24 are done, I roll them up. And then I put them in the bowl. Okay, remember, don't be afraid of that soy sauce. I promise you that's the answer. Now we're going to stop the camera, and I'm going to put the rest of the meatballs in here. Then I'm going to roll them out, and we come right back. All right, I saved the last two because I wanted to make sure I definitely told you to press it in and let it out with the ice cream scopes. This one is already shaped, but I give it a press. All right, then I take it. I take the water. Remember, water and fat don't mix. All right, and here they are. 4, 8, 12, 16. 20, 24. They came out to 24. Now this goes in the broiler. 10 minutes on each side. After 10 minutes, I look at them. I want them really good and brown on top. And I'm going to turn them. If there's too much oil in the pan, because remember we got the pork in here, then we're going to take it and uh, pour it out. If I do that, after the 10 minutes, I'm going to stop and show you. And uh, I'll show you what I do to pour it. All right, here they are. 24 meatballs rolled up. Now we're going to put them in the oven on, on the top, top shelf for broil. This is broil. When you do broil, either you don't have to add it in temperature. It already goes to 550. I'm going to put them in here for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're going to check them together. I'll show you how I like it browned on top. If it's too much oil, we're going to pour it off. All right. All right, 10 minutes are up. Now we're going to take a look. Woo! See that? I want it just a little bit. Eh, it's really good there, as a matter of fact. Sometimes 10 minutes is not enough. 10 minutes is not enough. You put it back there one or two more minutes. When I, when I spin these, if there's too much oil in here, you take it. I have the my penis here. See, this is my penis. Dish towel is my penis in Italian. And I'll pour it off into both. There's really not too much oil here. But now I'm going to take them and turn them over. And when we turn them over, we'll make them 10 minutes on another side. Remember, if you don't think it's dark enough, sometimes it's not. Sometimes I have to leave it 11, another two, another one or two minutes. You'll know. You'll know. You don't have to be afraid if it's undercooked slightly because it's got to go in the sauce and cook in the sauce. I think I told you already the next viewing will be we have high hopes to make pot pie. Pot pie is a wonderful recipe. If you don't already know it, you make it in a very short time. All right. Now I'm going to put this back in the oven for 10 more minutes. Remember it's on broil. And it's high up. Okay, get it in there so it all cooks up. So it cooks all around. I shouldn't be talking when I'm making noise. Ten more minutes. Let me turn this noise maker off here. All right, this is ten minutes. We're going to open up, and we're going to see it. These ovens do this. There's a warning when you uh, buy the stove. Oh, see, these are nice. These have a nice color. Am I showing you that? Mm. That has a nice color. Color. You see the oil there? We're going to get rid of that oil. All right. Oh, boy. We're going to have to... Here, okay, let, let me pour this off just to get it off. I don't want my meatballs laying in oil. It's not that much, but oh, out is gone. Better, out is better. Off is better. All right. Here we are. Here's the meatballs. They're jiggling around. All right, we need to stop. I'm going to set up to uh, drain the meatballs. I would like you to see what I did. Now we've had the meatballs in the, in the broiler 20 minutes. We take them out. I put them on paper towels to drain them. Hmm. 
little slow to go here. When I was 25, I was quick, young, good looking, and fast. Those days are gone. It's today. Sam 73, a big woman, and I don't know where my looks went, but if I want to find them, I have to look at an old photograph. All right. These meatballs, I drain them once here, and then I'm going to drain them again. You see there's more paper towel? I'll drain them again. I want to do it two times. Now, this is the way I like to do it. You may be happy with one time. But because they're broiled, they release all the oil, and it's over there. All right, the last four, if you bear with me. Then we're going to stop the camera. Wait, this only takes minutes now. You decide how long you want them to drain. And then we go on to the next sheet of paper. All right. Put the last four over here to drain. And you see, you see they drain. You see, can you see the stain there? But throw that away and let them drain just a little bit more. And that's all it needs. It doesn't need any more than that. And we've got meatballs. These meatballs, I hope, I was the best you ever tasted. If you make better than this, you gotta make yours. If you wanna change it and tweak it, do it. It's always the best thing to do.